What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with another video. This time is for console patterns. So whoever is not a console player, this video is not for you. But you can still stick around and see the video in case you're wondering how the, pa the PlayStation and Xbox works. Well, first things first we're going to be talking about is the new aiming assist sort of options. They, they put it this recently and I gotta be honest, it screwed the entire game off. Okay, for a very long time I couldn't aim properly with Maeve, and now I think I find I found it some of the best options you could actually put for the PlayStation. Now I know that a lot of people do not talk about this, and not a lot of people have been doing videos about this. And I was like, why? Why don't you do this, right? Why? Why don't we? People who may have a chance, who may have sort of a, an idea. Why don't you help us? No, well. I've been able to actually find some of the, the best uh, sensibilities, you know, the, the best options for Maeve specifically. This is for Maeve specifically. Let me just change something here really fast. Uh, this is for Maeve specifically, these options. Uh, you guys could try to use her for other champions, maybe like Androxas and something. What I was trying to do is, I want to be not as fast when, you know, in front of somebody, but at the same time I want to be fast when running away. Move and run away fast enough. Well, the options for this are actually very simple, you just need to go here on options, controls. Uh, I put it a little more sensitive, I think I actually put it this wrong. I think I made it, yeah, I made it wrong. I wanted to go last faster up and down. I have the vibration on, the X is 55, the Y is 50. For eternal stabilization strength, I have it 7. Because, as I said, I like to play Maeve a lot. And Maeve is one of the characters that you need to move when turning to the right or to the left or whatever you want to turn uh, at this last second. This is one of the options you guys are really want to have strong. I might actually put it at 8 and try it out. As inverted, it's disabled. Inner dead zone, I didn't mess around with this because I don't even know what this is, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I just left it at medium, small, sc scope sensitivity. This is more for Strix and Kinesa and uh, maybe Victor and etc. I put it this at 1 because I tried to play with Strix with 0 and it feels like I really need it a little bit faster. And so I put it at 1. Um, as the aim assist, friction and magnet, I put it at 30 because I want it to be less to not pull me when I'm trying to just rock around or try to go on the sky or try to jump over somebody and the screen just moves on its own, right? And you go completely out of trail, out of where you wanted to go. So this is the first thing. And we're gonna go back here. And let's try it out. Like right now I'm I'm here I'm looking at Ying Sky and Fernando here. The thing is I wanted to go like imagine I'm taking fire, so I wanted to do this. Okay, I just missed it. And I think it's still low. Imagine I wanted to do this, right? So as you see it, it's still low. I need to pull it up a little bit. So guys, let's try to experiment a little bit here as well. I'm gonna be putting here at maybe sixty. Uh, let's put this one at sixty this is of sixty five. And I'm probably gonna put it at 9. Okay, I think it's better now. And I just missed that. And if I just wanna go away... And it doesn't pull me a lot towards somebody. So, let's try it again. I'm taking heavy fire, just turn, and boom. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. It still need to get used. To, I still need to get used to it, of course. Um, but yeah. Now, as for Mave specifically, as you guys know, I'm a Mave main. I'm a level 20 Mave, and I just haven't gone any further because I stopped playing because I couldn't aim properly. Now that I can, I probably will come back now a little more, you know, into this. Um, and the options I change it on the bindings for her. You may you may look down right now on the ability that it's Prowl. You can see that it's the L3. The L3 it's the left uh, analog stick. Press it down, but not just that. I have another key bended to it, 
and it's not the X. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, you put it the jumping it somewhere else and you put it that on the X. No, I did not. As you can see here, I'm jumping right now. And I'm moving my uh, my aiming. So how do you do this, right? I change it two keys only. Not a lot of them. And I'm gonna show you to you guys. Let's go here on the bindings. Press triangle to go specifically to one specific champion because if you try to mess it around right here You're gonna mess it up for every single champions And here we are. So the first thing I did. I don't know. Don't ask me why this is here I don't know what this why 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 is it there, but still as you can see here I put it the jump still on DX So in case I just you know at the last second I just decide to press X out of Abbott out of habit, I just use the X, and then I put it at R1, which used to be the pro, the prowl ability. And then, as for prowl, I change it to the left analog stick and the touchpad from the controller. The touchpad from the controller is actually for uh, viewing the scores, but instead of it, I change it a bunch of things. Like for example, the emote. This I change it for everybody. It's just the the down arrow. I just press down and they do it immediately. I don't have to press right arrow uh, f square X, I think. Yeah, square X. I don't have to do it. I just have to press the arrow down. So this is actually pretty good. And then the amp weapon expect this this is usually already binded at a square don't ask me why i had to change it because i always press square to inspect the weapons i don't know what happened as i said before it was the hold view scoreboard now i put it at toggle and i just pressed the up arrow and then i just press it again to take it out so it stays up i just need to tap it it stays up and I just press it and it goes down again so I usually don't take too much attention to who killed me who did more damage or something like that I don't I really take att attention to that you know I'm more of the kind of guy who just keeps going buy something at the store get out of the spawn let's go keep going I don't care who killed me let's go okay so I took the where is it old view champions I think it's somewhere around here oh yeah v view dead recap so, if you would press the up, uh, the up arrow, it would be here. It would be the hold view death recap. That means that as long as you press it, the up arrow, you would see who killed you, who did the damage, who assisted, and etc. So I took that out and I put it here, so I could put the the um, the touchpad right here as the second uh, key. This way. If I try to put the prowl and you know I just can go with one f the left finger if I want just into the middle in case I don't want to press down on the on the the analog stick because sometimes it can actually you know putting this ability on the left analog stick can be bad if you think about it and people told me to actually put the jump here I decided not to do it there's a specific reason for it guys if you put it the jumping on the left analog stick, press down, especially for Maeve, what you were going to be doing is you were going to be constantly pressing this analog stick down, you know, because of the double jump. And not just it would make your your finger, it wouldn't hurt, just hurt your finger, but you would hurt the analog stick as well. You would probably destroy it by, by a few times after. Okay, so that's not something we want. And so I decided to put the jumping on the R1, which is really easy to use and you can get used to it really quick. And I left it the X still as my second, second little button. And I put it the Prowl ability, which is the ability to in these two these different keys. So I have several options for it. I don't need to reload, as it's obvious for me if she doesn't reload. So right now I'm gonna use the R1 to jump, and you can see that I'm actually moving around while jumping. So this is actually pretty good, especially because you need that momentum when trying to go with the you know to spin faster or go. You just turn at the last second possible so you can go up or something like that. You know, or even retreat. It's actually pretty good. The, the... Just one last thing, guys. The reason why I did not put Prowl on the X is because for a bunch of times... I've been testing this out for a while now. And for a bunch of times, every time that I put it at the X, what would happen is that... I would confuse myself sometimes in, you know, the, the, the fights during the the most stressed moments 
and I would just press X a bunch of times. What would happen is I would turn it the prowl on and turn it back off. So I just wasted my ability right there, right? So that's not something that you want. And I think these these aiming settings are actually pretty good. You should definitely try it out. Okay, guys, try it out. Come here, chest it out for a little while. Use her. Um, okay, that was that was that was just me. I just move it too much. There's also another thing I noticed. Sometimes by just doing this, um, I think it's because of the options they did because this wasn't happening before. Maybe we'll just do this like immediately, like really fast. And you're just trying to do like small little pushes. And it goes like this really fast, and you're like, why did you move so fast? I wasn't trying to move that fast, right? And that can be, you know, really bad. Sometimes just one attack, right now as I'm speaking, I was trying to move, and it was moving on its own. So as you see here, they did something, and it's not good. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the best options possible, but... Two for the money. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. These, these are the best options I found. If you guys have other options you, that you think that are better than this, please leave down on the comments down below. I can even do an updated video, or I can just pin your comment as important. I will test it out, see if it is good, and if it is good, especially if you're a Mave main, because I usually use more Androxes and in Mave, so. I would appreciate that you guys could focus more on those two champions for now, and you know, maybe when they hot fix this shit, uh, maybe not all people will have to have specific options as for the aiming and etc. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, guys, but that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I helped anybody. Please let me do let me know if I helped you guys. I know that this has helped me a lot. Okay. Especially the key bindings. This is now my main way of playing with Nave. And I gotta say that this is pretty nice. Two for the money. Okay guys, so I'll see you guys on the next video. My name is Creepers and I'm signing out. Bye bye guys, have a wonderful day. By the way, I'm not level 12, I'm level 20. This is bugged.